<clears throat> Hello again, YouTube land. Um, I'm going to jump right into what it is that I'm going to record today because I got struck by something that apparently really felt the need to be written and having just finished editing it, um, well, very minorly editing it, I don't usually edit free verse, I decided I felt like sharing it. So I'm going to close this screen so that I can see what I've typed, but you'll still see me. So this is a piece I literally just finished writing called Up Too Long. There are days such as this, mind racing and running slow all at once, a computer that can't or won't respond. I'm tired when I wake up. I'm tired when I go about my day. There should come a point, that place where I have no choice but to sleep and rest. My fate isn't this. I pace to kill time and bump up my numbers on my pedometer, playing music from my youth, songs listened to by everyone, songs used by all creative people as motivation. The screen is crisp in front of me. Bastard. At least if it was blurry, I might be tired. My job is housewife. My responsibilities are many, and yet too few. I need to earn money for myself. My life is not desperate like many others, like mine once was. I have comfort and compassion. There is love here and concern for the well-being of all. Yet there are days, like this one, Days I wonder what else there is, what else I'm supposed to have or supposed to be, where typing leads to things, where sitting at a desk isn't a waste of life. In random moments, as the songs change, I assemble a group of lists in my head. The things I want, the things I need, the things that should be, the things that aren't, the things that'll likely never be, the things I should act more grateful for and of. Part of my mind wants what most want, to be known and know, to know and be known, to be a legend, to be remembered always for a grand contribution, yet here I often sit, here I wonder what I have to give other than myself. I wonder what I'd be if not this, this disabled body, this sick mind, this mass of humanity and insecurity, a person in the right body, a person in the wrong body? I wonder if all things are equal and realize they can't be. Equality is what we make of it. It is what we agree it is. There isn't supposed to be an equal state of things in life, in relationships, in nature, in gender, equal is a subjective term. My 80s playlist informs and inspires my fingers as I type. I am trying to take on me. I could be gone in a day or two. We all could. Politicians spread false thoughts and argue proven facts. They call it true based on their faith, based on their views. My music calls to my soul for its echo, and my soul calls back. I am taking me on. To write these words is to open my heart. It is my mind laid open. My music answers my flow of thoughts. My words are not a safe dance. We are from out of this world. We are from a place deeper and further. I'm not young anymore, nor am I old. I am lost in the ether of the middle. Traumatic childhood has advanced my soul. They say I've earned my wisdom. They don't know the half of what I've earned. But earning something doesn't mean getting your due. It means you've suffered enough for others to acknowledge, for others to feel better about themselves. I sit here. I sit here. I sit here and suddenly I feel the need to dance, to be outside and experience. I don't know what, but go. I feel I must. Yet here I sit and type on the horse who runs into the burning barn. The writing helps the emotional needs, but the flesh feels both willing and weak, strong and unyielding. 
a conundrum of realities. I should pause my work now. I should rest. I should eat. So much I should do or be or say. I was never good at should. I've always been better at being or doing or wanting. I see things upon reflection. I no longer dance in the dark. Again, music speaks my mind for me. I dance in the daylight now, though often I still dance alone. The things I want to do scare me. I'm not brave enough to face my own ambitions. I've never doubted my talent. I've never doubted my skill. But my hatred for the world's ways it pervades all things, shatters all foundations. I've been lucky of late. Social media has been my outlet. Favorited tweets and retweets. A person I admire replied to my tweet and the day improves. Long has it been my belief, though, that we are all just people. We are all equal. But equality is a myth in life. I've been up too long. I feel punch drunk. There's always something there to remind me. I am small. I am unknown. I am nothing in the grand scheme of things. My world is tiny, yet large enough. It has been filled in, the sore places and wounded areas. You can never shed a war wound or battle scar. I have many and know the truth of their purpose. They are my shield and shroud, a force field to prevent others from causing the harm, a defense against harm in potentia, a reaction to the heartbreaks of past. My day is in its thirteenth hour. I have been up too long. My rest calls out to me, but no. On I keep moving and striving and reaching. May not be enough movement. It may be too much striving. I may be overreaching. But we belong to the words we used. For worse or for better, we belong together, this world and I. There's no turning back now. My bed is made and my table is set. Off I go to make my best attempt at anything. My best effort at anything. Something makes me continue to feel that trying something is always better than indulging nothing. I just wish I knew what it was or why. That is the end of my very long piece. Uh, part of the impetus behind that is I was listening to 80s Shuffle Station on Pandora and 60s Invasion and British Invasion. And I woke up at 1.40 this morning. It's 2.40 in the afternoon. I'm tired. And a lot of times my body going through extreme situations is what forces me to let loose some of the shards of glass flying around in my mind. And sometimes they come together into a pretty interesting window pane. I hope you like that piece. I'll see y'all next time.